Did you know that volcanic eruptions can still occur west of Maui, Hawaii, even though active volcanism ended hundreds of thousands of years ago? In fact, there were two eruptions that have happened within the last 70 years west of Maui. It is true that the farther west you go from the Big Island of Hawaii, the islands get older. The Big Island is about 400,000 years old, Maui is anywhere from 750,000 to a million years old, Oahu is 3 million years old, and Kauai is 4 million years old, and so forth. The rest of the islands west of Ni'ihau are in the form of atolls and small eroded islands and are much, much older. As the Pacific Plate moves in a northwestern direction about 2 centimeters a year, the volcanoes towards the northwest eventually stopped erupting after moving over the stationary hotspot, which is currently under the southwest part of the Big Island of Hawaii. Millions of years after the other islands moved over the hotspot, there has been evidence of recent rejuvenation of volcanism on Oahu that happened as recently as 70,000 years ago, after hundreds of thousands of years of no eruptions. The cause of the rejuvenation of eruptions west of Maui is not clearly understood. One theory suggests that molten material may be dragged from the hot spot and then erupts at a later time. In 1955, a submarine eruption took place around 90 kilometers or 56 miles northeast of Necker Island, right around these seamounts at a depth of about 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers. Necker Island is about 200 miles or 320 kilometers northwest of Honolulu. Now bear in mind, Necker Island volcanism ended here around 9 to 10 million years ago. The eruption occurred sometime in August or September of 1955. The eruption produced a column of smoke several meters tall as well as water discoloration. A possible raft of pumice has been witnessed but not confirmed. Another undersea eruption occurred on the 22nd of May, 1956. A military pilot witnessed boiling water, the smell of sulfur, and ashes on the waves just northwest of Oahu. This unconfirmed eruption took place underwater on the Kayana Ridge, about 60 kilometers or 37 miles northwest of Oahu, in the Kaiaia Oahu Channel. These observations are consistent with an undersea eruption. Additional flights two days later over the area recorded only yellow streaks on the water surface. Some apparently fresh pumice has washed ashore on the western coast of Oahu on the 28th of May. The pumice has been examined and its composition was consistent with Hawaiian volcanic activity. An examination of the ocean floor found no evidence of this recent eruption. However, the lavas on the Kaena Ridge are relatively young, dating to 340,000 years ago, while Oahu is 3 million years old. And there you have it. Eruptions west of Maui could still be possible. Thanks for watching our amazing and restless planet.